what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's been a great day first off i thank it all you guys who subscribe to my channel if this is your first time watching one of my videos do me a big favor hit that subscribe button for me loading everything up right now because i'm about to head out to my buddy's house because my garage right now is kind of tied up uh right now i'm in the process of supercharging my 95 for lightning here uh so i got everything on the bench and i kind of have things apart this product here is really really good uh but yeah like i said i'm heading over to my buddy's house i'm gonna get the compressor loaded up and all the stuff that i need and we'll head over there and prep this truck and i'll show you guys how to do it all right so i'm over here at bo's house and we're about to start to wrap the liner the back of this truck and we got the wrapper liner here uh this is some of the products you're gonna need you're definitely gonna need some acetone to wipe down the truck after you sanded it down and i'm gonna be using this harbor freight sander here with some sand pads, these are what are these? Um, 220 grit. Uses 220 grit sandpaper. So, but first, before we start sanding, we need to take off all these plates and this tie down hardware because uh, we're gonna be bayliner behind all that stuff as well. Um, what do you got there? It's not your dog. Put mm, it in the house. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, first we need to take off all this stuff before we start sanding stuff down because we are like I said we need to stand behind uh, these little tie down brackets and then we can go ahead and tape off the light and the rest of the stuff but this shouldn't be too hard. Alright the so bow is already getting started. I went ahead and took off all the brackets. Torx 30. Phone's ringing. I'm about to start sanding the bed down uh, using the little five inch sander. Uh, he's using his little wire reel to kind of get in these areas that the sander won't be able to get into. So he started on that. And like I said, I already took off all the brackets and I'm about to start sanding the bed down. <laughs> You plug it in for me. No, oh, All right, so we got most of the truck sanded down, and I'm about to wipe it down with some acetone. Um, so we got it prep. We got it. We have it mostly prepped, and we have it taped off. We still need to wrap off the the cab, but we got the sides of the bed done with the painter's wrap, and we need to do the bottom of the tailgate as well because we don't want it to uh, come up and get on that. But we're gonna wrap off the, the cab. Wipe the bed down with the acetone and yeah, start opening the box and get the gun ready to spray. So, here is what you get in the kit. This is going to be loud. Get this. Ready? This right here? Get this. This is loud. Get a gun. Uh, the hardener. We get four bottles of the liner. We got to put the gun together. Uh, basically, this just screws on. The bottles just thrown into the gun? Yeah, they just screw onto the gun. And you pour the hardener into the bottle? You pour hardener in here, fill it up to the line, mm -hmm. and then we just pour the hardener into the bottle. Shake it up for about two minutes. Put it on the gun, and shoot away. All Super right. simple. Uh, but I am going to hook up. How much is that kit? This kit is $130 on Amazon. Um, yeah, but I do recommend also getting this little regulator here onto the gun. Because you want to shoot... Um, the heart, the, the the liner around this is 40 to 60 psi, so I'm going to set this at um, 50 psi to get the best results. Um, All right, so we're going to fill this to the fill line. I don't know what smells better, that or the acetone. A uh, combination of both, probably. I can't smell anymore. <laughs> Your so, nose is fried. <laughs> my nose is done for the day. <laughs> All right, so we're going to mix the hardener into a bottle of. Pull them out. Now you drink it. Chug and it. And now this is the fun part. <laughs> shake for two minutes vigorous. At least shake for two minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Should be good at that. If you ever use a uh is the moaning necessary? <laughs> well it helps with the momentum. <laughs> the wind's not blowing this way, Tarsus, right? Uh, we don't want to splash our face. We're done. <laughs> It's, it's hitting us. All right. 
Yeah. Oh gosh, we're done. So you want to spray this in like really windy conditions, right? The windier the better, because then you have the chances of getting it everywhere. Oh, okay, it's cool. All right, here we go. Don't forget your uh, PPE if you're watching this. Yes. Respirator. Well, they say the wind is is, is, uh, is basically our PPE, but if you're doing it in the garage. But this guy's immune to chemical working temperature. So. <laughs> <laughs> is done i got all the hardware put back on the truck and it looks super good i'm gonna put all the products on the least description below where you get your product your little kit as well i got off my amazon and it works really really well so right now i'm gonna show you what the end results look like today's video man they came out super nice if you want the same look done to your truck i'm gonna put all the products that you saw in today's video down in the description below i got most of the stuff off of amazon it's really easy really convenient to get uh if you have any questions any comments please put them in the comments below and i'll try to get to you as soon as i can and like always guys we'll see you guys on the next one